It's week four of the National Football League, and we'll see Miles Sanders. He really helped drive them a week ago with a three-touchdown game. It's the Eagles and the Jags. All that and more coming up next on EA Sports. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Today, it's week four, and we've got what should be a great one here between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Philadelphia Eagles. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Eagles team as they interplay here. They've got to be pleased with the start to this season. Obviously, a perfect 3-0. Three good quality wins, too. Let's get people in the locker room excited. They're thinking that this could be their year. Meanwhile, for the visiting Jaguars, they come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The Jacksonville's offense trots out here for the first time and all eyes go right to number 16. Now in his second season as the team's face of the franchise, Trevor Lawrence. Okay, I'm not taking a turn to negative town even though it's going to sound like it. The two interceptions he threw last week, those obviously have to be eliminated and that was the focus of practice this week. But let's face it, he did throw three touchdown passes. And they got the win. And they got the win. So I think it was a good week for him to work on things. Had some positives. The win being for, first and foremost. Now he's just got to eliminate those interceptions. 17 yards on the game's opening play and a quick first down. Here's a second year man from Clemson, Travis Etienne. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The Jags picking up the first down there, a gain of 12. On play action, Lawrence. Eagle pressure, too much this time. Down he goes. T.J. Edwards. Credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. He only gave them an instant to react. It was a classic case of if you blink, you missed him. Off of the line and to the quarterback in just a couple of seconds. Running back only had a moment to react and attempt to throw a block. Alert, alert. Flag it, flag it. To try again after the sack. Lawrence, open man is Kirk, complete. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Lawrence. Thrown across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. So far this season, this defense has had their issues against the pass, so that's a great sign for them to get the early pick. They have confidence builder for them and an absolute shock for the quarterback because... He went into it. He saw the numbers we saw. He watched them on tape. I think he came into this one thinking this is going to be a big day, and it very well could be. But early in this one, advantage defense. Now, for the first time, we get to see this Philadelphia offense led out by their dual-threat quarterback now in his third season, Jalen Hurts. I like this guy, and the reason I do, he tends to stand an even keel. Doesn't let too much ruffle him. He will manage the game the way it needs to be managed, take what the defense gives him, and then he can strike at times. Had a touchdown pass. Yes, he had an interception last week, but he found a way for his team to win. In a word, I would say productive, finding the end zone three different times. Is it possible that you're really underselling it? Three touchdowns, just going to call him productive? Right. What, what do you want? This guy had a nose for the end he zone. He was good. Had a snoopful, didn't he? How about that? Big-time game. 
From the 45 on second down. Hurts. Hurts fumbles it, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. Looking to throw. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. The Eagles hit 3-0 here in the month of September. And they coming on a pretty good roll here. Winners of three straight. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. They are such a talented team at defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside. Great confidence, great skill. Hurt sets up to throw it. Sanders has it over the middle. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, he was a busy man out of the backfield a week ago. They got the ball early and often. I have no doubt in my mind that he'll be a big part of the game plan here as well. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field of the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Give him two yards. That sets him up first and goal. But well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. Throwing his hurts. And Goddard's got it! Touchdown, Eagles! A great effort there! His second touchdown on the season. And the Eagles take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Elliott good with a PAT, and it's now a 7-0 game. So that drive in total eight plays. And the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Gallagher. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. So time to see Jacksonville get on offense for the second time here in this game. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. On second down, a run with ETN. Nowhere to go that time. Might have got a yard up to the 25. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll run with ETN. And this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier.
46 yards on the boot. The coverage holds him to just three on the return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Meanwhile, down in Dallas, an update from there. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They've got the 7 to nothing lead. Now they've got the football back after their defense got the stop CD. And you get the feeling if they could score here, they really have all the momentum on their side. And you just wonder right now, is the quarterback and the play caller totally in sync? Are they of one mind to, hey, what worked last time? Let's keep doing it until they stop us. Or do they go to a different section in the playbook, show them something different? Either way, they want a repeat of their first drive. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Right back to Sanders on first down, and he's going to work this one down to about the five. Second and three with the ball sitting on the five. Another run here with Sanders. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. Call it a four-yard pickup, but it leaves him a few inches short here on fourth down. They come out with one back and three tight ends. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And it'll be a turnover on downs. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. And they'll start on the ground, ETN. And he was very fortunate there to get out of his end zone. He maybe got back to the two-yard line. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Straight ahead, ETN. Oh, and he's not going to make it out of the end zone. The push too strong, and that'll be a safety. The goal here is about getting any kind of positive yardage in this spot because you don't care who, you don't care how. You just want to try and buy a little space and get away from your own end zone. But in this spot, the defense was all over that play and equally motivated to stick them with a safety. And remember, following the safety, you give the football up as well. And they free kick it from the 20 now. Scott to return it. Now back to work for Miles Sanders in the Philly offense. First month of the season, those numbers pretty solid. Does he continue that? I think so, because when you come out of the gate this strong, that means that you have planned for it and you like the results that you're getting. So I wouldn't have any doubt that the head coach, offensive coordinator, actually called in to, and called him in and said, look, you're our guy, okay? We're going to continue to stick with this as long as we're winning games. You ready for the challenge? And then they presented it to the rest of the team. I think we'll see plenty of that as the season moves on. And I'm sure he said challenge accepted. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he is going to lose yardage here. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Here's Aaron Sipos out now to punt on fourth down. Jamal Agnew is deep to return it. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. And this kick will be touched down as they spot it inside the 45-yard line. Uh, two fantastic games coming up to wrap up week four, the first weekend in October. Uh, tonight, the Chiefs and Buccaneers from Tampa. That's a rematch of Super Bowl 55, of course. And then Monday night, 
Rematch of last year's NFC Championship game, the Rams and Niners from Santa Clara. Coverage on that one, 8-15 Eastern. On second down, ETN once more. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Lawrence on third down. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get down for the sack. Josh Schwett rushing in and bringing him down to the ground. Well, obviously the pass rush gets the glory and the statistics on this play, but the coverage, they deserve a ton of credit too. Denied open windows, erased the quarterback's targets one by one. Everywhere he looked, someone was covered. Only a matter of time before someone got there to bring him down. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. This is taken at the 18. They'll score that a 36-yard punt. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. This offense returns to the field. And the former Penn State star, Miles Sanders, we're going to look at him. He's in his own second quarter, already closing in on a 100-yard game. And that's the magic number for a running back. Anytime you get to that triple digits, that's all you're looking for. But he's got a chance to really exceed that in this one. Yeah, he does. That, that's been the gold standard for a long time, hasn't it, that 100-yard mark? It really has. And that never has to shift because it's in a game. It's a 1,000-yard mark. I'm wondering, since we've gone from 12 to 14 to 16 games, maybe we need to up that a little. Call it no gain that time, as it's going to leave them with a third and about three to go. Hold the ready. Here's Hurts to throw. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And that's complete to Sanders. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. From the 36, Hurts being checked. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. He'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete, down to 15 seconds now. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. I don't know if you ever go into a game expecting to attempt a kick of 62 yards. Charles, not only attempt it, but make it one of the longest kicks that we've ever seen. Yeah, I'm not sure you ever go into a game expecting to kick one of this distance, but all the better kickers, they do dream of it, and they show what they can do in practice and convince their coaches to give them a chance. That one surely paid off. Fields the squib kick right around the 30. And solid field position here to start as they get this out to the 40-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. On first and 10, it's Lawrence. This is caught. It's Kirk. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. And this won't get there, won't be online either. It's no good, off to the right. So we come upon halftime and what's a 12-point game at the break. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you guys in a bit. But first, let's take a look around the NFL here on this first Sunday of October.
We'll start over in Texas at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. And it's the Cowboys who are out in front. Michael Gallup, a touchdown reception. From there, we head up to the Motor City to check in on the Lions at home at Ford Field. And you can see they have the lead over the visiting Seahawks. Jamison Williams, over 100 yards receiving and a touchdown catch as well. Lastly, let's get you to MetLife Stadium to see what's happening with the Giants at home in East Rutherford. And they've got the lead over the visiting Chicago Bears. Two touchdowns there for Saquon Barkley. We continue on with the check of the next-gen stats in that first half for the Jags. And not much went right in those first two quarters. You can see the numbers on the ground there. Not a whole lot to write home about so far. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, it's been no contest in terms of the rushing yards. You see a much, much brighter picture there. Both these teams making their final halftime adjustments. We're just about ready to get back to football. So for the call of the second half, we get back up to Philadelphia and Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Fielded right around the eight. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. So here are the Eagles to take over. They're on a three-game winning streak and right now looking good in this one as well. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at about the 32. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Now this one complete to Smith. So the completion good for six yards, and that's going to bring up second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Third down, they'll run it with Sanders. 102 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. On first and ten, it's Sanders. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Hurts. That is caught. It's the tight end, Goddard. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 28. That one goes for 24 yards. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? But first down, Hurts flush to his right. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts, his 10th touchdown of the season, second of the game. And the Eagles take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Elliott on for the extra point. And that one makes this a 19-point game. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was finished off with a 10-yard touchdown scamper. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And 
this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. Here comes the Jags offense now. Time for their first possession of half number two. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and ten at their 25-yard line. They'll look to ETN to start things out. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. ETN up the middle. And across the midfield stripe into Eagle territory. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And now they'll throw it with Lawrence. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Lawrence. Complete to Jones. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. They go play action now. Lawrence. They'll get this out to the flat for ETM. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Caught that look from me there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. Now Lawrence on first down. Trucks up, touchdown Jaguars! Christian Kirk, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Jaguars are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that's the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And they're able to cut this deficit down to 12. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it results in a touchdown for Jacksonville. This one taken just inside the 10. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. They were able to extend their lead with an opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter, but that just got matched a moment ago. So we know that what they discussed at the half worked. Now, what are the counters to that, right? You don't just run the same things over and over. Some do, but many will also show something and then come back with something else to keep the defense off balance. Throwing again on second and 10. Hurts. He's got Dallas Goddard, his tight end over the middle. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Give him four yards as he does it himself, and it's a first down. Well, that was a designed run. Now remember, if a quarterback goes feet first, he's protected. But if he dives head first, he's not. On that play, he figured the risk was worth the reward. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's the Eagles in possession of the football and leading this one as we get ready to start the final quarter. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. 
After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Another run with Sanders. 138 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. I think we're seeing the effect the runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. Second down at six now from the 42. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Quick slant here to Smith. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 27-yard line. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. He's able to get six. A nice pick up down to the 21. The last run got six. Now second and four. From the gun, it's Hurts. His throw incomplete. Ah, uh, the quarterback got away with one there. Looked like he was in line for a pick, but instead, it's knocked harmlessly into the turf. Out of the gun now on third down. And they're going to get him. He sacked back around the 28. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. Now the number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. This time, the rush got to him in a hurry. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your lineman and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely, because remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. And if you're wondering how quick a quarterback's decision-making needs to be, a next-gen stat says that play took on a 2.8 seconds from beginning to end. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Lawrence's throw here into the hands of Jones. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Running out of the gun with ETN. He's got room past the 30. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A big one there for the Jags. 18 yards, first down. And they'll go again with ETN. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. From midfield now, Lawrence completing it here to Marvin Jones. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. Steps away to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. That sack courtesy of the effort of Hassan Reddick. It's been quite the impressive career resurgence for Hassan Reddick. Focusing now more on rushing the passer, the linebacker's 23 and a half sacks in his last two seasons. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Lawrence, now this is ETN on the draw. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. 74 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Now Lawrence to throw. Man open here is Jones. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 21. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. 
After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Looking to throw, Lawrence. Throwing the out route, incomplete. That's Arnold. And he gets it inside the ten to the nine. Lawrence going to throw again. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle. So they're ready. And they're going to get it. They bring it down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. On third and goal, Lawrence. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And the Eagles are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. Well, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. And out now come the Eagles. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. It's second down. The Jaguars are going to go ahead and use their first timeout as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. On third down, they turn to Sanders. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. On the go. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll go again with Sanders. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. It doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. Hurts down to one knee, and that should just about do it. So it's a victory here for the Philadelphia Eagles. And we talked so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach always stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win. And usually they say, if we win the turnover battle, we'll win. Well, here's the proof right there. Win the turnover battle, go on to victory. Now the guys believe you move on to the next lesson where you have to convince them this one is now playing.